series. Today, we're talking about why prompts matter. <laughs> prompt, prompt. Okay, we're going to help you with all of your prompt engineering needs. Uh, we've done a lot of AI sessions lately, and I find that sometimes it makes the most sense to go back to the beginning. What I mean by that is, if you don't understand prompts and how to create really great ones, then your output is not going to be that great. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about all kinds of things prompt related. Are you ready? All right. Unlock the secret to how, the why, and what, and how we can do it, and some tools that you can use to help you. And even if you stay till the end, we're going to give you a prompt about prompts. So it's a prompt to help you create better prompts. Now, if you've gone out there and you've purchased prompt Bibles or my thousand prompts and things like that that people are selling you online, that's okay. We can use those prompts as a starting point to make them better. Because a lot of the times when they create those Bibles or book of prompts that they sell you, they were really great when they were created, but they could be a month, three months, six months, a year old. They're still selling the same one. So we can improve upon what you already have. So if you have questions, put it in the chat. If you're watching this on Instagram, uh, what's up? If you're watching this on Facebook, or if you want to watch, if you're watching this on Instagram, we're going to share our screen in a little bit. So you're going to get the full screen experience on Facebook. Go to facebook.com slash Jman Speaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're getting the full screen experience. So welcome to the channel. All right. And LinkedIn, you too. We love you. Maybe you should talk more to us and we would engage you further. So where are you watching from? What's one good thing to happen to you today? But let's get right into the action. <laughs> Want some applause? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, screen share. Pow, pow. Hey, there I am. Here we go. We're going like this. I got all these GPTs open. Here, full disclosure. Uh, there's a GPT called Viral Intro Hooks. So when you're writing or creating your videos or doing live streams, uh, it will give you things that you can say in the beginning of your video because that's the most important part. If you don't know that on the playback, I actually trim off my entire intro. Good morning, good morning, morning, this is Jeremy. I trim that all off. So if you're watching this on the replay, you don't hear that. It just starts with a reason why you should actually care about this video and keep on watching. So that's a viral intro hooks GPT. Okay? All right, let's go over here. I want to get started with the first one that I started with. Uh, and, and I'm in ChatGPT. It's ChatGPT.com. It's free for you. Okay, if you don't already have an account, it's free for you to use the GPTs that are in there. We did a live stream a couple weeks ago about our favorite GPTs. Uh, this is just going to be prompt related. So we're going to give you a couple GPTs that help you write better prompts. But just know, even if you do the free account, it's important that you have a login and password so that your chats are there and, and you can come back and use them again and again. Okay, so I started with the first one. You see here it's um, what did I say? I would like to create a prompt for a business person to create social media content, specifically explainer videos for FAQs within their industry, right? I want to make this as broad as possible. We have people tuning in that do all kinds of things, not just real estate. We have mortgage professionals. We have photographers. We have salespeople, car sales. We have accountants. We have financial planners. doesn't matter. We're here to help everybody. Okay. Now, Here's the prompt that they gave me. You are a marketing expert creating explainer videos for business for a business to address frequently asked questions in their industry. Your goal is to produce engaging and informative video scripts that helps customers. Okay, instructions. Identify the FAQ, research and gather information, structure the video script, the body, conclusion. Tone and style. Maintain a friendly and professional tone throughout the video. Use simple and clear language. Call to action, end the video with a strong, okay? So let's – yeah, that's it. That's perfect. So I'm going to go like this. Copy. I'm going to open up ChatGBT again. Now, I'm going to go just to the GPT.com. One moment, please. Now, I'm going to paste that entire thing in there. Now, I'm not going to use all of it. So let's – I'm going to delete – we call that 
post text. It's after the response that was given. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then here's my entire prompt. You see how long it is? Like for you to create that probably would never happen. There's the prompt, so I eliminate the pretext like this. Okay. Okay, let's go like this. Boom! What you gonna start with, GPT? What you gonna start with? Right now it's working. So let's see where we're at. Go all the way down. Hello and welcome. Did they pick a business? Okay. Refine the prompt. I'm going to say I am a photographer. Photographer. Re. Right. I could not even spell this morning or any morning. Just be honest. See? FAQ. How do I choose the right camera for my needs? Well, you would call somebody, but this is a good, if you're a photographer, because once they realize all the lenses and all the things that you do, then they're going to go, oh, I guess I can't just do it with my smartphone. Okay, continue. That's one. Here's another one. How do I choose the right camera? Example script. It gives it, give me five more ideas that's what i'm going to say next do, do, do. if you're just tuning in we're all about the prompts today mm, 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 mm. other people's prompts opp how can i explain it let's take a frame and frame it buyers agents jumping when i'm listing it the o is for other the p is for people's scratch and temples the last p well that's about prompts now give me five more ideas And remember, this is conversational, so you can always just keep on. What are the best settings for low light photography? Boom, it's gonna keep on going. So we're gonna let that cook for a little while. We're gonna move on to our next one. Our next one is, well, actually here, if you're watching this on Facebook, I put in the chat, you should see a link. You click that link, that's gonna take you to my AI chat bot. You could also reach it by going to jmanabot.com. I'm gonna give you a free prompt engineering guide, okay? Just have to go there. There's no login. There's nothing. There's nothing. I'm giving it to you for free. Okay. Go to the prompt engineering. You ask, you're going to ask it prompt engineering guide. Write that. And it should reply with my prompt engineering guide. Give you a link right to it on what you need to do. And also, if you do uh, just say prompts or J Man's favorite prompts uh, in the chat with the chat bot, it will reply with my favorite prompts because I'm going to show you those today, but I want you to have them and keep them safe next to your heart and also your Google Docs, okay? All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. So that was, this is actually a GPT called, what are you called? Uh, over here. It's called Prompt Writer. So it's a Prompt Writer GPT. Again, if you don't know how to get to the GPT section of ChatGPT, you go to chatgpt.com slash GPTs or on your left toolbar over here, you hit explore GPTs, look up prompt writer. That's the one you'll find. Okay. Now the second one that I like for those of you that are mid journey users, this is a game changer because I, I have mid journey and paying for it. I don't use it that often because I feel like I'm not good enough at writing the prompts. And you're like, I don't know about camera lenses and styles and all the rest of that. Like I know about real estate and AI and social media and video, but how I want photos to look, I'm not so great. Hey, Michael Carlo, what's up? And so um, this mid-journey prompt and image generator, we discovered this the other day uh, during a session, and here's how it works. Somebody put in the chat something that you want me to create a photo about, and I will send it to you after this, so this is to your benefit. 
But while I'm waiting for you to reply, if I come over here and I go to mid journey, uh, Michael Carlo, you were on the other day when we did this. This was a photo of the New York City skyline at sunrise taken from Brooklyn Bridge Park. The Statue of Liberty is prominently visible to seen as calm and serene with a clear sky and some clouds. Warm morning light gently illuminates the buildings and water, casting soft reflections. The park is peaceful with no people around, enhancing the tranquility of the moment. Now, I would never be able to write that. That's poetry. I'd be like, make me a nice picture of the city with the Statue of Liberty, sunrise. I'm very short and to the point, right? So look, if I open this in the browser, this is, this looks like somebody, shh, Charlie, uh, today's bring your doggy to work day. Uh, but look at the detail in this. This looks like somebody took it with their, with their camera. I mean, Statue of Liberty has no face, but you wouldn't be able to see that up, up close. See the Brooklyn Bridge, see the sunrise. Like that is amazing. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't have a face. I don't know. I was there two years ago. Took my son there. She had, she does. She definitely does. I just want to think if she's worn out. All those years standing there with the you know with a torch in the sky. But let's go back to the generator. Nobody's giving me something to generate. I'm trying to hook you up here. All right. I'm gonna do um. White white me write me a prompt. A uh, prompt about a golden doodle selling luxury real estate. The dog should stand on their hind legs like a person. Okay. Now it's going to ask me a series of questions, clarifying questions to help make the prompt better. All right. So what type of luxury real estate is the golden doodle selling? Beachfront, Avi, beachfront. You get five stars so far. Okay. Great choice. Now you can describe the golden doodles attire or accessories. Um, is the dog wearing a business suit? Business casual. Beach themed attire is gonna be good. That's gonna be good. I like this one. Perfect. Next, what kind of settings should the beachfront property have? Should it be modern and sleek, tropical and lush, or perhaps something else? Uh, tropical. I want it to be tropical and lush. That sounds nice. Like Dominican. Oye, mira la vaina, la vaina loco, mire, si, como está la cosa. Habla Jeremia Manero, aquí en la lucha, como siempre, ya tú sabes, nene. Okay, tropical and lush, what's next? Excellent, lastly, how would you like lighting the scene? Should it be bright and sunny, warm and golden? Mm, sunny, partly cloudy. Nah, I'm going to go break of dawn. That's my favorite time of the day, truly. And the sun just before the sun comes up, when it's still light, but the sun hasn't quite come up yet. Break of dawn. Yes. Here's my prompt. Here's my prompt. Eee, I'm so excited. Okay, get your, get your party noisemaker. <laughs> Woohoo. Okay. So we're going to take this. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to hop over to mid journey. Pow pow. Okay, I'm going to do slash imagine. That's how you do it. And then the prompt. Command V for me because I'm a Macker. Hey, hold up. Just for a minute. I told you all to get a Mac. And those of you that have Windows, what's happening? What's happening? Your windows are closed. I'm still Macking on the Mac. That's why you're watching this on Instagram because your phone works and your computer doesn't. Is it too soon? Okay. So while that's cooking, we're going to go back to life back to reality i'm singing all the classic hits today if you don't know name those tunes as we go and we'll be best friends oh so i did that one i did that one now what i want to do is actually i'm going to come over to my prompts j man's prompts here we go so in here we're not going to go to the prompts for prompts yet okay but we all struggle with social media posting ideas right we have that I'm going to share this with you, so don't worry. You don't have to screen capture, 
I'm like, Jay, you're going too fast. Uh, I have in here not just social media ideas, uh, not just hyper local. Okay, I, I've also included, there's one for events. I think that's fantastic content to get out. Like if you were just sending out favorite events of the week, if you send it out via email and then you send you know, a mailer out once a month to your database of people, that's content that they're gonna actually read. Not the fluffy stuff that a lot of agents are sending out in their newsletter and many of their newsletters are exactly the same, right? I know because you all send them to me. I'm like, I'm not gonna buy a house from you. Why are you on my list? Why am I on your list, okay? But where you wanna start is this right here. This is why I have it highlighted in when you look at this Google Doc. It helps you to identify your ideal client profile. You have to do that first. You have to do that first, okay? So let's, we'll do it together, I suppose. But if you look at how detailed that is, what are the challenges faced by this audience? What fears might they have? What are the goals? What motivates them? What might be the internal dialogues? What are the common objections? Why, what, how might the life of this target audience change? Okay, so I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna do a new, a new GPT, new combo. Put it in here like this. Okay, now I'm gonna say my ideal client profile is a move up buyer because of a growing growing family and lack of space in Rochester, New York area. Okay? Now watch. Watch the magic. Do you believe in magic? Cause I know you should. Come on, baby, let's cook. Okay, here are the challenges. Limited space, school district, finding home in a better school district, budget restraints, market conditions, time management, location, home features, current selling home, selling current home, fears of this audience, goals of this target audience, motivations of this target audience. I'm gonna let it keep going. I'm gonna let it keep going, you know why? Because years ago you would have hired a consultant and paid them thousands of dollars to do what I'm doing for you right now in a matter of seconds, okay? You're welcome. Oh, Moana 2's coming out, I can't wait for that. You're welcome. Internal dialogues, is this the right time to move? Can we afford a bigger, all of these right here, that's video content all day. Is it the right time to move? Can we afford a bigger mortgage? Will we find a good school district? Will our kids adjust to a new neighborhood? What if we don't sell our current home quickly? Is it worth the stress and effort to move now? Will we find a home that meets all our needs? Are we making the right decision for our family's future? All of these common objections. We can't afford it. The market's too competitive. It's too stressful. We're not sure. Selling our new current home, if it's too difficult and time consuming. We're worried about hidden issues in a new home. It's hard to find a look for a new home. What if the new school isn't as good as we hope? Okay. How the life of the target audience might be affected. We're going to keep on moving on all the way to the end. This is a journal entry, okay, my friends? And by journal entry, I mean like reading their diary. Today's been another hectic day and I can't help but feel overwhelmed. The house feels like it's shrinking around us with two kids and another on the way. Once our small three-bedroom house just isn't cutting it anymore. I'm not gonna read the whole thing because that's naughty. You can't be reading their diary. Okay, um, continue generating. You're doing such a great job. Now what I wanna do, while well, that's cooking, like I say, Coming back over here. Oh, wait, that's my prompt engineering guide. Over here. Because just below that, you're going to see this these three columns. And I want you to use this. Think of like it's a recipe, right? You need at least one from each column. Like what's, who, what's the audience? What, what are you using it from the audience? You're already identifying it like you would say. Um, use the table above to create content, right? So I might say, Write me a 60-second video script for an Instagram reel using the journal above for my ideal client. Okay, so I'm going to say using, let's pick one, the challenges. Using the challenges above. Yeah. We're done? Okay, now. Using the challenges above 
write me video scripts for 60 second reels that I can create on Instagram. Okay, that's the Instagram 60 second. Now, like I said, you kind of come over here and you got to say, okay, start with an attention grabbing headline, follow with a hook and tease with a solution. Okay, then I'm going to come back. Where am I? Here. There's the second part of the recipe. See what I'm doing? I'm making a lovely cake, if you will. Third part, uh, emphasize their need, create trust. And I like to say, make it sensational and emotionally engaging. Okay? Emphasize their need. Emphasize. Some days I feel like a third grader spelling. Emphasize their need. Create trust. Make it sensational and emotionally engaging. I like everything to be emotionally engaging, to be honest. Emotionally engaging. I must be really engaging today because none of you are speaking to me. Are the comments working on Instagram? Okay, we got one. Make it sensational. Okay, now watch. Again, if you're watching this on Instagram and you want to see it full screen, come over to Facebook, the book of the face at J-Man Speaks. See me full screen. Pow, pow. Okay. Here we go. Video script one. Is your home shrinking? Hey, Rochester families. Feeling like your house is getting smaller by the day? You're not alone. As your family grows, it's normal to need more space. Imagine a home where everyone has room to breathe, play, and grow. You deserve a home that fits your family needs. Picture this. No more fighting over space. A yard for the kids to run in and enough bedrooms for everyone. Hi, I'm Jeremiah from the Monero team. We've helped countless families in Rochester find their dream homes without the stress and hassle. And you see how like, look how good this is. This is so good. I would, uh, so good. Okay, make it sensational. Let's make that dream a reality. Ready to take the next step. Contact us today and let's find the perfect home for your growing family. Okay, stressed about moving. It took every one of these challenges. Worried about selling your home. School district blues. Now, there's some of these you're going to need to tweak because there could be some fair housing related things. Can't say better school districts or not, but you get the idea. Too busy to house hunt. Okay, you should have no excuse why you're not creating content. All right? Now, if I go back to my prompts. In here, you see, right, I have general content. I have Facebook. I have Instagram. Right, Michael Carlo, who's uh, who's on on Instagram right now, he's doing more commercial stuff. So it, he could create content for a blog that he's writing on LinkedIn. Right, you start writing, you know, a lot of uh, longer form content on LinkedIn, they'll start to see you as an expert. They see if LinkedIn sees you as an expert, so will other people. And guess what? That business to business will flourish. Okay, um, do hashtags matter? Not that much. It will bring some attention to your content, but if the content sucks, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I would say, you know, I, I would I still use context con ugh. I still use hashtags that are location specific, right? Specific to the content and then specific to the brand. So you might use Douglas Elliman, Element Agents, um, Manhattan Real Estate, New York City Real Estate, New Jersey Real Estate. Like I would keep it around six to nine. I wouldn't go crazy. Six to nine on Instagram and maybe three on LinkedIn and maybe three on Facebook. Your three best. Okay, look at it. So you, it's all here for you. LinkedIn, email, blog, podcast ideas. Now, events calendar prompt. Craft a vibrant events calendar tailored for real estate agent. Let's see. Who's going to comment next on where they're from so that I could give you an events calendar on your city where you live? Because I'm going to do... Somebody copy, copy, copy that. Okay. I'm going to come in here, do this again. Now I'm going to say, we'll do it for Rochester because you're all not listening to me anymore. Okay. Um, Delray. Okay, Monica. Thank you, Monica. Um, 
Oh, Becky did it first. Okay, I'm going to do Babylon, and then I'll do Delray. Okay, here's just so everybody knows that I'm telling the truth. Becky Mitchell said Babylon, and then Monica Reiner said Delray. Did I do it twice? Oh, I did it twice. Okay, here we go. So let's say uh, Babylon. The people of Babylon have spoken. This is fun to say. Babylon, Long Island. I don't know if there's another Babylon uh, somewhere. I'm sure there is. Designed to dazzle potential home buyers and sellers alike. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Where's my drum roll? I'll just get excited applause. So we got the Babylon Arts Festival, we got the Babylon Village Fair, we got the Farmer's Market. This is for like the next quarter. I might refine it and just say for the next, for the next, just for August, okay? But, oh, I didn't, I didn't put the time frame, that's why. Okay, next, this is what we're going to do. Do the same thing, but this time it's going to be Delray, Florida. Okay. Del Rey, Del Rey, Del Rey, Del Rey, Del Rey, Del Rey, Florida community. Now, this is the mistake that I made. Becky, my apologies, but you could just copy what I'm doing here. Oh, you, Billy. Oh, hold on. Billy must be reading. Are you reading in the head ahead of what I'm going to be talking about today? Yeah, I have one for that too. Okay. Uh, but let's say this for the time frame. Mark the dates. Oh, <coughs> my abs are sore. Bless me. Thank you. Okay. Um, should circle in red. The Del Rey. Can't add Babylon in there again, Jeremiah's Del Ray. Okay, here we go. Picture this. August 3rd and 4th. August 10th and 11th. Okay. Oh, thank you, Monica. You did bless me. My 13-year-old's telling me, Dad, you need to use trending music. That's very true. Michael, very true. I also have, you have twins, right? That's right, 13-year-old girls. Um, and that's true. Uh, trending music will help when you're doing explainer-type videos. Always have music in the background. Um, I would say stick to music when you see it like tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands. If you go into the millions, that music has already trended. Uh, your kids will tell you like, oh, that song's so annoying because they've heard it so often. Okay? So look at this. This is great, Monica. Check this out. Delray Beach Open, Delray Art Walk, Restaurant Week, Family Fun Day at Veterans Park, Full Moon Yoga on the Beach. And and hold up, hold up. Next level, next level. Th this here is a list where you're going to be to make content for all of these events. Every week you have a place that you can make a poop ton of content, whether it's you talking to people on the street. Oh, you're here for the Full Moon Yoga on the Beach. Have you ever done this before? This is very exciting. Uh, I, I'm a yogi myself. They call it practice because... I'm still practicing. I'm not that great, but I am fairly flexible. Okay. I'm happy to be here. What about you? What brings you here? Oh, I'm an, I'm an avid yogi. Namaste. Right? Interviewing people and doing things like that I think would be fun. You'll see, be seen as an expert in the community, and you're the person that knows everything that's going down. Now, next one. Uh, Monica and Becky, send me an email at jman at jmanseminars.com, and I'll, I'll give you these the list here. Okay? Oh, you could do it yourself, but how to join. Look at this. This is fantastic. Okay. Now to Billy's Billy's question. Look at it's almost like she, she did read ahead. The lead article for this month's newsletter. Okay, there's a newsletter prompt in there. Okay. 
Do I want to do it? Um, yeah, let's do it. Copy. Is this the same one? Yeah, this is the same one where I, I did. Okay. Now, I'm going to say, Tailor to the hearts and aspirations of my client above, right? Again, this is why you do the ideal client that we told you about, client above. I don't want to do any, all of the rest of this, but you got to fill out when there's a fill in the blank, you got to fill out everything. But let me just try this, see what happens. I'm impatient. It's a live stream. I can't do things that take many minutes. Hey, but it continued with Delray Beach because that was the last thing that I did. So discover the Delray Dream, your guide to a vibrant community and spacious home, crafting your perfect life, finding the perfect home in Delray is more than just move as a journey toward a better lifestyle for your growing family. Why partnering with a local expert makes all the difference. Exclusive invitation, Delray Beach Trends Seminar. Don't miss our upcoming Delray Beach Trends Seminar on August 25th. Local spotlight, the charm of Atlantic Avenue. Okay, I've never been there, but I could write this and you would think I'm an expert. Okay, it could be just an agent starting out or you just moved to the area, it just doesn't matter. You got AI on your side and I on your side as well. Special offer, complimentary home consultation. All right, <coughs> pardon me. The moment that you've all been waiting for, I do believe. Oh, we didn't go back to the, the mid journey. So let's go look at our, hey, look at Charlie boy. Yo, Charlie is killing it. Okay, that's my dog. That's my dog, Charlie. Um, I didn't say to make it photorealistic or not. This is not photorealistic, but we can do that at a later later time. But let me show you how Mid Journey works, okay? See these four photos? It's one, two, three, and four. I think I just love this one. But I also love this one because it has the house, and I love this one. I want to make sure he has dog paws and not human hands. Okay, so like I would go like this. This is number one, right? U means upscale, which means make it higher resolution. V means give me variations of that first photo. It writes the new prompt for it automatically. Okay, I then also like, I don't like this one. I like this one, that's cool. So I'm gonna do variations of four as well. So now it's saying in that style of photo, it's going to give me four more variations of it. And that's what it looks like when it's in the creation mode. Okay, while that cooks, let's come back. Uh, and if you if you tuned in late in the chat you, or you go to jmanabot.com, that's going to take you to my AI chat bot for free. You're going to type in a couple of different things. Prompt engineering, that's going to give you our prompt engineering guide. You're also going to top type in top in top in top in prompts and that's going to give you our google doc with all of our prompts uh, and we give you google docs because we change it constantly so you still have access to it and as it's updated you get updated i know it's very great all right so what is it we're going to do here oh the prompt on prompts prompt on prompt on prompts okay there used to be a prompt test plugin i gotta just Get rid of it because it does not exist anymore. See, I just updated it right before your eyes. Um, there we go. Prompt for prompts. I want you to become my prompt creator. Your goal is to help me craft the best possible prompt for my needs. Okay. So watch. I need you all, somebody put in the chat. What's a prompt that we want to create? What's something that you want the GPT to do? Okay, noise, noise. Okay, give me something, because if not, I gotta make it up and all my creative things are in other directions right now. I'm gonna go new chat over here, start there. So let me put in the prompt and I'm gonna be waiting for you to reply. Okay, just to let you know. Your goal is to help me craft the best possible prompt for my needs. The prompt will be used by use. ChatGPT will follow the following process. The first, your first response will be to ask me what the prompt should be about. So I'm just going to do this. 
Uh, Monica says, what a prompt to create. Top hotels? I need more, Monica. Give me more than that. Okay? More than that. Like, what do you mean by top hotels? How about um, top things to do under $100 in Miami? Where am I going? I'm going to New York City soon. I'm going to do New York City. Okay? So let's do that. Um, things to do in New York City under $100. See, like, and it's asking you questions to, like, make it better. Create a list of activities and attractions that can be enjoyed for $100. The list should include a variety of options. Okay. Do you want the list to include seasonal activities or only year-round options? So this is what you do when you have questions like this. You go one, seasonal, during the summer. Now you're going to use the shift key, and that brings you down to the next line. Hit two. Should the list focus on well-known attraction or lesser-known spots? I love lesser-known spots, right? Having the secret to everything is much better. Uh, lesser known. Three. Are there any specific boroughs or neighborhoods you're particularly interested in? No. Just Manhattan. Well, let's just say Manhattan and Brooklyn. Because if you're in the city, you can get to Brooklyn pretty easily. Uh, Manhattan and Brooklyn. And then what's the last one? Should the activity be suitable for so couples? Okay, and this is where, who's your target market? Is it families? Is it dinks, dual income, no kids? That would be couples. Is it single people? Um, I'm, so I'm going to say couples. Okay. Yeah. See how good this is getting. Oh, I just, I just love, I love America, but I love AI a little bit more. I think, I don't know. All right. So it did all that. Oh my gosh. More questions. Okay. Um, I like interactive and this is like, you're making better prompts. Are there any particular interests or hobbies you like to, uh, to cater? I like nature, history, activities, like doing things. Okay. Three, should the list include any events or festivals? Heck yeah. Yes. You had me at event and festival. People! people would you like any recommendations uh, for evening or nighttime activities yes both okay boom, boom. if you're just tuning in we're using some of my amazing prompts and this is a prompt to create great prompts um, if you go to jmanabot.com you put prompt engineering that'll give you a free guide and then if you put in prompts it will also give you my Google Doc with all my prompts. Okay, so it gives us a couple options here. One and two. Your choice will help make GPT better. I'm just reading these. One moment, please. Prompts for commercial real estate. Um, we'll, we'll work on that next. But you could just ask these questions. I want to write a prompt about commercial real estate. Let's. Uh, I'm going to copy this one. You got more questions for me? Oh, my gosh. All right, let's just do the revised prompt right now because we're running out of time. Okay. 
So let's do this. I'm going to go like that. Copy. And I'm going to open up a new chat like this. I'm going to put this in here. This would still be a good one for you, Michael. Um, new Recruit Media, Howie Nix, what's up? Okay, we're doing some AI prompts creation, Howie. Hit me up. I got you. Uh, create a list of lesser known attractions in New York City, specifically Manhattan, Brooklyn. They can be enjoyed for couples under $100. Okay, here we go. Nature activities. The Elevated Acre, Manhattan, a hidden park in the financial district. Oh, that, that is a nice place. Yeah, that is true. Stunning views of the East River and plenty of seating for a romantic picnic. Brooklyn Grange Rooftop Farm Tour. Visit one of the world's largest rooftop soil farms. Tours offer a look at urban agriculture and even buy fresh produce. The Ramble and Central. Oh, I've been there. That's freaking awesome. It's like this, this totally untouched piece of nature in the middle of the city. Historical experience. Museum of the American Gangster. Oh, shoot. They got me there. That's awesome. Yeah, all of this would make great video content, Billy. 1,000%, uh, right? Go to each one of these. Like, I, I may do, like, one video that talks about, hey, here's 10 things to do in New York City for under $100. Are you ready? Boom, 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 boom. And I list them all, and then I go and make videos of each one, right? So top things to do under 100, under 50, under 25, whatever you want. Uh, I guarantee you you can do this in your area. Greenwood Cemetery Tour. That's yeah, that's a National Historic Landmark. I've been there. Um, that gangster. That sounds. That sounds fun. I would definitely want to do that. Tenement Museum Walking Tour. Experience the living of immigrants in the Lower East Side through a guided walking tour. Oh wow! I didn't know that existed. This would be good for real estate agents. This is good real estate content. Interactive experience. Speed tour. <laughs> that's funny. Color Factory Interactive Experiences. Interactive Art Museum. Brooklyn Brainery Classes. Escape the Room, New York City. Done that one. Smorgasbord, a massive open air food market. Bryant Summer Park Film Festival. Coney Island Mermaid Parade. Oh, that would be fun. Um, evening activities, Nighthawk Cinema, Cinema. Oh, I've seen this too. Skyline Drive In. Where's that? I got to go there. I got to go there. Commercially viable rooftop vineyard. What? Okay, that's it. We got to end it here because this is freaking awesome, folks. Um, we're, we're almost out of time. So we're just going to bring it back here. We just kind of recap and tell you, you know, give you some action items. But uh, today it was prompt on prompts on prompts. And uh, I taught you all about it. But to follow up, you need to go to my AI chatbot. It's jmanabot.com, J-M-A-N-A-B-O-T.com. I'm telling you. Because if you're watching this on Instagram, the links that I put in there will not exist after I stop the stream. Uh, if you're watching this on, on Facebook and other places, uh, it should be in the comments. But again, go to jmanabout.com. You're going to ask it for prompt engineering guide. That's going to give you a, a pretty decent guide on how to engineer your prompts. But it's also your next step is going to say, what, what's jman's favorite prompts? It's going to tell you what mine are by giving you a link to a Google Doc and all the things that we've talked about today. Now, if you came on late, you can always watch the playback on Facebook at facebook.com slash jmanspeaks or jmanspeaks on YouTube. Jeremiah, it's jman Monero with jmanspeaks. Thank you for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. And hold on one second. What is happening? Yeah, thank you for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. If you got any value, please share it with people, share it with everyone you know, because uh, we're here to make a difference in the world. Period. Jeremiah's J. Man Mineral, J. Man Speaks. Make it a great day. We're done, Charlie. We're done. We're done.